They were first time home buyers. And so guess who was helping them find the right house? You guessed it, it was the parents. Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And then today I wanna to talk about one of the first really big nightmares that I had as a real estate agent. And that was, I was working with a young couple. They were first time home buyers. And so guess who was helping them find the right house? You guessed it. It was the parents. And I discovered real quickly that whenever you're trying to help some young first time home buyers and their parents are trying to help their kids buy a house, that sometimes your parent, their parents think they're working against you, not with you. And so I thought about the, I got, well, one, I got stuck in this dilemma. So that what happened in the, in the story was that the whole time, everything I would tell the kids, the parents would be going like, yeah, but, well, you know, no, no. and they would, they would challenge everything for the entire transaction. They just challenged me the whole way. And they were what I now affectionately refer to as the dreaded third wheel in a transaction. It's you, it's your clients. And, and look, you can dance with your clients, great. You're there trying to help your buyers, trying to help your sellers, and then the parents come along. So this video, I wanna talk about the third wheel. I wanna talk about the third wheel influencer. Maybe it's their parents, a lot of times, especially if it's first time buyers. It can also be an expert advisor in the family. It may be an uncle or it may be a, you know, a, a, an accountant that they trust or somebody they know from church or whatever it is. It's somebody that they know and that they trust that is going to help them make a right decision when it comes to buying and or selling their house. And then you come along and you're the real estate agent. And a lot of times, if you're not careful, what happens is the advisor looks at you as the enemy. And so how do you deal with that? And I get asked this question fairly regularly from agents, especially dealing with these younger buyers and sellers. And they say, how do you deal with the dreaded third wheel? So I want to share with you a four-step strategy of how you deal with that parent, that well-meaning parent who constantly is undermining you and just trying to destroy your credibility. How do you deal with it? Well, here's how you deal with it, four steps, and this will make it everything go smooth. This will make everything go easy. So number one, when you find out, the moment you realize that they have an advisor, you have to embrace the fact, you have to embrace the fact that they have an advisor. Just embrace it. So, oh, so you're, you're, uh, your, your parents are gonna be helping you, awesome. It's great, it's fantastic. You ha if you go like, Oh, your parents are going to help you? Well, uh, that can be a problem. Whether you say that or whether your body language communicates that, then they're a little bit skeptical. Like, well, why do you not want my parents to help me? Well, you know why, because the parents are there going to come in and they're going to second guess everything you say. They're going to challenge everything you say. They're going to try to talk the kids out of buying a house. That's just the way it goes. But here's what you have to do is you have to understand where the parent or the advisor's coming from. And that is they're, they're there to help their kid, right? Their goal is not to sabotage you. Their intention is not to blow up the deal. Their intention is to simply protect or help the, their child or the person that trusts them, their friend. And so you gotta embrace their, their motivation, embrace why they're there and bring them in. So number one, you gotta embrace it. That's awesome, great. I tell you what, why don't you bring them along when we meet? Why don't you bring them along when we look at houses? Get them involved in the whole conversation. Embrace the fact that they're gonna be a part of it and you want them there the whole time. Now I know that was for me, I was like, ugh. But here's what I found out. If I got them there and embraced it, the, the, my clients felt comfortable that I was comfortable. So they felt comfortable with me. Number two, then the second step is once you do that, is you've got to make the advisor your ally. In other words, you've got to treat them not as your adversary, not as your, your, your opponent, 
but as your ally. That you're, look, you're on the same side, right? I mean, when you really think about it, what does the, what does the parent or the third party influencer want? They want to help the, their, their child. What do you want? You want to help your client. You both want the same thing, and that is to help them get into a home that they're going to love and in a way that's going to help them and be in their best interest. However, the parent can sometimes be a little skeptical and think, ah, I know why you're here, Mr. Realtor. You just want money. And see, as long as they believe that, they're trying to protect their child, not only from making a mistake, they're actually trying to protect their child from you. You have to, uh, you have to get past that and embrace this fact that the parent is an ally or they're, they're, you're gonna be in that adversarial situation. So the second thing you do is you not only embrace it to, the, to your clients and go like, oh, that's awesome, great, why don't you bring them? Number two, make yourself an ally with the parents or the third party influencer. And the way you do that is when you first meet them and say, awesome, you know what, I just wanna thank you so much for really you know, uh, committing to, be, to help your child or help them help this couple out because I know you really wanna help them and so forth, so it's gonna be awesome having you along. I just want you to know if you have any questions, you need anything, you're free to reach out directly to me through them. I don't care, you know, we're here together. And then the other way you make them an ally is in the conversation. So let's just say, for example, that uh, one of the things that will happen is the kids see a house, they love it, and you know that if these, if these kids don't make a decision today and they don't write an offer today, tomorrow there's going to be 13 other offers on this house. So you know that it's in their best interest to get them to move quickly. Well, if you start saying like, you know what, you guys like it, we need to write an offer today, and then the parents are over here going like, oh, wait a minute, slow down. And if you're pushing to take action now, the, the parents are over here going like, no, 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 slow down. They're going to think about it. Do not rush my kids, right? So how do you combat that? You make them an ally. So whenever you need to communicate something to the children, to the clients, you want to bring the third party influencer in as an ally on doing that. And here's the way you do that. You'd say, for example, um, here's something that's very, very important for you guys to understand. And mom and dad, I'm sure you have experienced this. You know what I'm talking about. And that is, I don't want you guys to take so long thinking about it that you lose the house because another offer comes in and undercuts you. And mom, you know what I'm talking about. You've seen that happen, right? Or I'm sure, dad, you already know about this is that you give the parents or the third party influencer the benefit of the doubt. You give them credit to, for knowing stuff that they may or may not know, but you're saying, I'm sure you already were aware of this, Mr. Dad. I'm sure this was nothing new for you, Mr. Influencer. You give them credit and let them, let them know that you know what you're talking about and the reason you're confident in it is because you know they know it too. Because what happens is if you go, and I'm sure Mr. Seller, you are, uh, Mr. Dad, you already know this, and this is the truth, and then you say something that's obviously got to be true. If you're, if you're BSing, you're trying to do BS, and you're trying to push them for your benefit, look, the parents should be skeptical and suspicious of you because you're in it for yourself. But if you're talking the truth and you know what you're talking about, and you say that and you say, and Dad, I'm sure you've seen that happen or you're aware of this, he's going to like, oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, that's true. The, the inspector is going to come in. And you let the kids know, is it, hey, look, when this inspector comes in, just so you know, his job is to nitpick every single thing he can find wrong with this house. Now, you guys know you're not buying a brand new house, right? You know, no house is perfect, right? So when he comes in, and Dad, I'm sure you know this already, that inspector is going to find a whole lot of stuff. So that inspection report is going to look ugly. Doesn't mean the house is bad. That's normal with any inspection report. Dad, you knew that, right? I'm sure you've been through that, right? And the dad's going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't do that, if you don't create that alliance, then what happens is the kids see the inspection report, they get scared, they get terrified, and they go to the dad and they go like, dad, look at this. And the dad looks at it and goes like, that's a lot of pages of stuff. Oh my goodness, maybe this isn't the right house for you guys. And you know how that well-meaning, well-intended, third-party influencer, boom, is now talking the kids out of buying the house and now you gotta start over. And the same thing's gonna happen again. So why not? shortcut that painful process by simply making the parent an ally and bringing them on and giving them credit for knowing stuff that they may or may not already know, but it will cause them to treat you as an ally. Third step, and this is all, this is all happening at the same time. The third step is I want to find out what, what is important to the, the influencer. What's important? 
There we go. What's important to the influencer? What matters to them? And you just ask them. So, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dad, Dad, Mom, what's important? Most thing, you know, what's the most important thing for you guys in helping your kids find the right, find the right house? What do you really think you know is best for them? What are you looking to help them do, and so forth? Find out what matters to them. What's important to you in this process? What are the things that you want to make sure we do right? We don't you know, make the, the mistakes we want to avoid, so forth. Find out what's important to them and go like, ah, absolutely, totally agree. And if, they're, if something's important to them that you know will mess up the deal or is not in their best interest, then you can prepare for it and know how to and, and decide how to handle it in a way that lets the third party influencer know that you see them as an ally, not as an adversary, that you're not, it's not you working against them. The most important thing here is the moment that that parent or the, that influencer sees you as an adversary, you're done. Because they're gonna be constantly, to protect their child or to protect their, the client, they're gonna be constantly undermining or challenging you the whole way. I've had it happen to me, it was miserable, it was painful. And when I discovered this process, it was absolutely like, a, 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 it was all of a sudden went from a nightmare to a dream team. And this is the fourth step. And that is once you've established all this and go like, great, what's important to you guys? That's awesome. Then we're going to work well together because the most important thing is for us all to understand that what we want together is to make sure that that uh, Bobby and Tammy get the perfect home for them. Right, Dad? Right, Mom? We're on the same team is you must make it clear to them. You must make it clear to the dreaded third wheel, to the third party influencer, that your, bet, your highest interest is their child's, your client's best interest. And when they feel that, when they believe that, all their resistance, all their skepticism, all the adversary part is gonna go away, or it's better, even better yet, it's gonna be prevented from ever happening. Master this process. You gotta do this. If you'll do this and go into this conversation with that open, inviting, embracing the fact that they've got the third party advisor, everything will go smoothly. Your clients are gonna get the house that they love. Parents are gonna be happy and you're gonna be happy as well. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share, like, comment, and I'll see you on the next video.